What's happening, guys? This video is going out to Chris in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. He just picked up this Arch Enemy box set, and uh, this one's 96 to 2017. It's God, it feels so heavy. I bet it's 30 pounds at least. So uh, it's going to cost a little bit to ship this one, um, but well worth it. Uh, and he certainly paid for it. So first thing we want to notice here is uh, I listed it at VG plus for the uh, for the box itself. Looking at it, you can see how we grade here. Um, we always put graded conservatively for quality assurance. This is definitely on the near mint side of VG plus, but I want you to be happy with it, man. So also number 130 out of how many? 2,500 copies. I think that's a one, maybe a seven. I don't know. It really looks like an A, but at any rate, it is the numbered version. I think it's 130. Uh, again, Arch Enemy box set. So let's get into it here. First thing we wanna do is pull out the vinyl. And as you can see here, pretty cool stuff. It actually creates some art on the spines when it's put in, or when the vinyl's put in there correctly. So that's pretty neat. It also comes with, I believe this is a 36 page booklet. Uh, Chris, I'm gonna spare you going through this booklet. It's in amazing shape. It's all there. We don't need to go through it page by page, but here it is. And you can tell it's in great shape. So now let's go through the record, shall we? Let's do it. I believe, let's see here. We should start right here with Black Earth. Now, this is the picture disc uh, box set. There are a few of these out there uh, with different variants, um, different color variants, etc. cetera. Uh, I think the picture disc one is the coolest myself, but that's up to uh, you know interpretation and how you feel about vinyl. But check it out. And man, I'm gonna go ahead and say that all these covers are gonna be in near mint condition uh, on the inside as well, even though they were listed at VG Plus. So maybe you won't be able to tell just how great the vinyl looks by the video, but we do these to show you that uh, you're getting a great product before we hand it over to the postal service. But as you can see, anywhere you look on there where the light's shining, no scratches, no surface marks, near mint. I, uh, if I were to guess, uh, this isn't my personal copy, so I don't know for sure, but if I were to guess, um, this was spun maybe one time. Uh, the guy we got this from was a big metal collector and I don't think he even listened to a lot of his stuff. So um, I, I'm not sure if he even, if he even ever opened this or I mean, opened and looked through everything. Uh, I don't see any fingerprints, any spindle marks. So you be the judge of that, but super clean on this one too. see the I mean just look at those grooves nice glossy finish sticking stigmata stigmata I think stigmata on this one forgive my lack of knowledge on that and so that one uh, the first one was 1996 this uh, last one 98 here's a release from 99 we got Burning Bridges. Again, near mint cover. Near mint vinyl. And very cool artwork on each of these records. And it doesn't take long to figure out why this box set is so sought after. And it 
does get a premium, but it's worth it. Wages of Sin. Let's check this one out. Near Mint once again. And of course, we've got all kinds of other good, great stuff listed on Discogs right now. Aside from uh, from this one, and we've got uh, a lot of stuff on eBay, and also a lot of stuff on our regular website. Um, this one was a 2001 release. Let's go ahead and file that back in there. And this will be the last time that I touch all of these. So, let's see, Anthems of Rebellion. Going to be sad to see this one go, but also happy that it's going to go to a home where the new owner will enjoy it. And again, Perfect grooves, perfect piece. I really probably don't even have to go through the rest of it, but I will. We've already made it this far. Let's go ahead and show it off. And for me, part of these videos, uh, of course we wanna show you the conditions good, but part of this is just so I can remember having these pieces and, and go look back if I want to, so. And share it with other collectors, too. Maybe some of you out there haven't seen this, uh, this piece up close. Here's Doomsday Machine. Again, great condition. All over. That is a 2005 release. And we're going to go Rise of the Tyrant. Now, in all major purchases, uh, we do take care of uh, signature confirmation for you. Um, I also insure them for you uh, in case anything happens. And of course we do these videos. Two thousand seven. I don't make you pay for the insurance or signature confirmation um, over a certain amount. So make sure to check that out too. I figure if you're doing business with us uh, at this scale we're gonna give back and go ahead and pay those fees ourselves. So, here's this for you. Chaos Legions. And as you can see, perfect grooves, no surface marks. kind of feel guilty even touching these. They're so clean. That's a 2011 release. We got three more coming at you. War Eternal. Really cool artwork on that one. I like that one. This one came out in 14. 
2017 release coming at you. Will to power. go near mint as well and Chris you're getting a uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it you're getting a near mint near mint copy of this even though we graded the uh, the cover as VG plus so you're welcome on that And this is a bonus record. This is covers and rarities. It's also a gatefold. It's actually a double LP. And let's go ahead and open it up. Beautiful shape. Let's check the last two records and we'll be done. Now I blow in these just so you know, uh, just to put some air in there around the record so when I pull it out, uh, it lessens the chance for uh, paper scuffing and all that. Although there is uh, plastic in these sleeves, so we're really, really safe pulling those out of there. So there's the first LP on this one. Amazing artwork. Last one, last but not least. Beautiful piece. Look at those grooves up top. Super clean, near, uh, near mint. Now, there is a chance that I'm gonna send this video over to Chris and he's gonna say, you know what? I don't want this. Uh, go ahead and put it back for sale. Sometimes things happen. So. What I would invite you guys to do is go ahead and check. I'll leave the link down below to our Discogs, uh, eBay, etc. This one is on Discogs. So uh, go, go ahead and check. And uh, maybe Chris didn't, didn't uh, sign off on it. Maybe you still have a chance to get it if you want it. Uh, also, there's all kinds of other great stuff on our Discogs. So check that out. Please like, subscribe, share, check out my other videos. And I'll catch you next time.